liquid and linseed oil. It's, um, it's easy to use and it's got a good um, drying time. So it kind of accelerates their, your drying time with your oils. So that's what I'm gonna use today. So I'm gonna mix both together into my little cup here. And you'll notice if you use liquid, it's almost a gel more than an oil. It's really thick. So you wanna kinda take it out with your palette knife and then put it in to the cup, okay? And you don't need a ton. Um, you just need a little bit. And you can see on here too, this is dried liquid. So it kind of is like plasticky when it dries. It's different than like the other oils that you can buy. Um, and it's not, it doesn't have much of a sheen. If you just were to use liquid in your painting, you wouldn't have like a really varnishy look to your paint, okay? And then I've got my linseed oil that I'm gonna add to it. So those two together, a common recipe that people, that painters use is one third um, linseed oil, one third liquid, and then one third turpentine. And they mix those all together and then use them as a good painting medium when they're painting. So just a little bit in there. All right, we don't need these up here, so I'm gonna move them. And then I'll mix those together. So they kind of, it's like a little cocktail. All right, so we've got that ready. So what we wanna to do today, I wanna to show you a couple methods where, you know, during this time I'm not gonna, finish this painting because oil painting, uh, because of the drying time and all the layers, it honestly a, a good oil painting could take weeks or months to finish. That's just the way it is. So, um, which is good. If you like, you know, if you enjoy painting and seeing things come together slowly and refining things over time, it's very therapeutic. It's fun. It's, it's a great activity. So today what we're going to do, since we, we have that limited time, um, what I want to do is show you some techniques. Um, we're gonna go over three different things. So the first one I'll show you is blending. That's the really nice thing about the fact that oil paint doesn't dry super fast is you have enough time to blend um, two different colors together so that they kind of gradually change. Um, so we're gonna talk about blending. Um, and then we're gonna talk about um, I remember the third one. Um, we're gonna talk about glazes because that's another cool thing you can do with oil painting is really thin layers of paint over a color. So instead of blending two colors together, you can put a glaze over it and it will kind of mix the colors together visually. Um, and I'll think of the third one. I can't remember right now, but while I'm painting, I'm sure I'll come, it'll come to me. Oh, it happens to me all the time. Yeah, so um, we'll start with blending first. So on our picture here, we have this metallic picture, and I can see when I'm looking at it that there are lots of reflected, patches of reflected light and also shadow. And so what I want to do today is kind of get in and paint those different variations of color and then show you how you can blend those together, okay? All right. So I'm going to start with some white and also some raw umber because I know just by looking at that um, picture that you can see that that's got, instead of black, um, we're going to use the raw umber because it's a lot warmer. And I did talk about that yesterday, that um, if, you're, if you need a warmer black, burnt, or raw umber is the way to go. It's a very warm, it's a, it's a brown, but it's really dark brown, so it's almost black. Okay. So we're going to get those ready. And probably some, a little yellow ochre. So oil paints are different than your acrylics. A, a little bit goes a long way because they're not drying the minute you put them out on your palette.
Okay, so I'm going to get my darker yellow. <clears throat> that one's a little bit stiff. 